What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Me and my dad, we're doing a little fishing here in Canada. I just got out of the stand with Jared. Um, he's sitting all day long. We woke up at 4.30 this morning, got in the stand at 5. And uh, it's 12, 12.30 right now, so I just got out. And his brother was editing this morning, so he just got in with him to film. And uh, me and my dad are headed to a lake about an hour and a half away. We're gonna do some fishing today, so hopefully we'll get some dinner. And uh, I'm gonna take me a nap because I'm exhausted. All right, guys, we just pulled up to Darcy Lake here in Canada, uh, Mitchell Point Lodge. Our uh, guide Tim on South Bay Outfitters. He's friends with him, and uh, he put this together. So big thanks to Tim. Hopefully we can catch some fish. He said they're wearing them out, so he didn't seem like he had a problem putting us on some fish. So I think they have like they have like cabins and uh, boats here that you can come stay in the cabins and rent a boat for the week or whatever. So I might be back up here if it's that good. But it's a huge lake. So we're about to load up the boat and uh, go get on the water and hopefully catch some big. Uh, what do you say? There's pi there's pike and walleye. So that's what we're targeting today. Okay guys, if you look on eBay, you'll see these clacking wraps they're called uh -huh. by Rapella. Get a couple of these in. I, I, I don't, don't. No. I'll take the red one. Get those two and the red one. Then we can swap out. Alright. Okay, here. Now why don't Yeah, those are called clacking wraps. Some clear water out here. So we just got done talking about what we can keep and take home. It's uh, one walleye per person per day and five pike per day. They don't call the pike pike here though. They call them jackfish. So I've never heard that before. Leave it in the comments if you heard that because I haven't. It's warming. That's right. Starting out right at the gate, trolling from the dock. Yep. You betcha. It's a little bit closer. Alright guys, we just ran just around the corner. About to throw back in and uh, he marked some fish, so let's see what they are. Yeah, right. You got them. Dad's hooked up. Yeah, you mean to net him? Third cast. That's where we fish in Texas. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good eater too. Thank you you guys want fish to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. at the color of them, man. Just golden. That's awesome. I've never, I've never caught a pike before. First pike. Is that your first, first pike, Dad? First pike. All oh, right. Okay. We got dinner, boys. Right on. Dad's hooked up again. It's the lure I gave you. Uh, Man, that is a good fish. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I think this one's a little bigger. Not much bigger. Yeah. You have them hooked weird. Yeah, early got them hooked. It's a pretty fish, though. Uh, Heck yeah. Good fish. Another keeper. Another keeper. Ooh, you guys are gonna eat good tonight. That's right. Put <laughs> in and nailed it. Ooh. Oh. Where'd he go? He's in there. Got him. Hey. First pike ever. First. There you go. Both of us. That's awesome. First pike ever. That was awesome. Sea keeper? Yeah. He's going in the Kula. He'll be tender meat up. Awesome. 
Let's do some more. Let's catch some more. Barely touched the water and I had a fish on. He's coming to me now. That was crazy. <laughs> oh. Game on. Game on. Oh. He's not hooked in the mouth. Man, he's a feisty one. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty fish. Right yeah. Isn't that gold? Yeah, Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the color of that fish. That is a pretty fish. Oh, let's see if I can Gorgeous, get see? Yeah. That was healthy, nice. man. Nice. That's worth a picture of that one man. with the color. That is awesome right there. Look how pretty that fish is. Look at that, hey. Another one for the dinner table. Ooh, yes, sir. Good eater. Oh yeah. Oh. Bring him back. He's got a belly yeah, on him, buddy. that one. That's a good one. That's a, that's he's getting heavy that yeah. one. Yeah, he choked it. <coughs> okay. Another eater. Oh, nope. Good eater. Sweet. We're not picky. Awesome. All right, guys, so we're just in this flat, and uh, there's fish everywhere. You just cast, reel it in, and they're there. If he takes you overboard, you know you got to be good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's not huge, but he's good. He's right here. That'll be number seven. Okay, oh, got a little hook on Barely hooked. Back on that one, yeah. <laughs> guys. Uh, what is that? Three more, and we got a limit. I think that's right. Left. Oh, no, no. Oh. Fish in the boat. Another little eating size. Is it? Yep. He choked that one down, didn't he? Dad's got the last fish of the day on. Good keeper. Good eater. It is. It's all we came for. Awesome. Take some fish home. Off. There we go. All right, well, my dad just caught the last keeper of the day, but I, <laughs> I had to have one more cast, so. This is the spot right here. This is where we caught a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bigger. Pretty. Alright guys, last fish of the day. Putting him back. Save it for the next. Awesome. Let's go clean these fish up and then go eat some tonight. That's a rare fish to get wow. that color. Yeah. Wow, you guys got quite a bit. But... Limit out. We're limited. Well, that's awesome. Yep. Awesome. Well, the boys want to take pull back and feed the rest of the guys. So. Oh, that's okay. uh, So there's a special way to clean these. 
there's a Y bone in there. And our guy Darcy just showed me how to do it. So just like a regular fish, come in, fillet it out. Take your skin off. Got your ribs right here. Take your ribs on the out. And then the top half of the filet, there's a line of bones that come down. And there's a top loin. Cut that off. So that's your top loin of the filet. And then you come flip it around. And then go the opposite way on those bones that you just cut off of. And this is your Y bones. And that's your other half of the flesh. Perfect flesh. Bill Cooks just walked out. We're back at camp. I already, uh, I already got fish on the fryer. Jared just shot a monster bear. So if you wanna go see that hunt, go check Jared's channel out. I'll leave his link in the description. Uh, live to thrill. So what I got here is some bank, uh, panko breadcrumbs with some garlic salt and um, seasoned salt in there. And then uh, I just chunked up the fish and the frying pieces and three eggs and a little bit of milk. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna make this special sauce. Sauce. Gay Barrington showed me this sauce. So, let me get a spoon. So, I'm gonna put a lot of ingredients. Uh, that didn't work. I'm gonna do about three quarters of this can. Bunch of fish. God, Tim showed up. All right, so three quarters of that can, and then go get yourself some wasabi paste. Do you like wasabi? Do you like yeah. spicy things? Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna put this whole thing in here. Got a lot of people eating. Put all this in there, and then uh, Gabe puts ginger juice in his, but I never do just because I never have ginger juice laying around. But it's just as good like this, I think. So that's it. Mix that up. So it's a nice green sauce. Uh, actually, the last time I did this, I put some uh, a little bit of lime juice, and it was super good. So I'll look in the fridge if we have any lime juice. Put a little bit of that in there. Put a little pepper in there as well, and it is amazing. And that's it. Dip your fish in that, and it is golden. As Lake Fork guy would say, the Golden Krispies. All right guys, I'm doing a little sampler. Wasabi sauce and a little bit of pike. This is actually, I think, the first time I've ever eaten pike. I can't remember, but I think it is. I'm gonna call them up here. Hmm. It tastes like a, it's a really white meat. It is super good. It's almost like a uh, flounder, just a little bit more tough. Yeah. Mm. Good, isn't it? That's good. That was awesome. Guys, I'm going to finish cooking. I might give you a little sneak peek of Jared's bear here in a minute, but I'll see you guys in a little while. I don't think any fish goes. Which one is that? <laughs> Which one is that? In panko. What do you think, Jay Rod? This is wasabi and mayo. Dude, remember I cooked this for y'all the first time you came to deer hunt in Texas? Oh yeah, with mahi. Yeah. 
That's right. That's good stuff. Oh, and that's whenever I kept putting too much wasabi in mine. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my note. Seven, three, boy. Congrats, brother. Thank you, man. Look at that, guys. Yes, bro, this year? Seven, four. Dang. Right. Yeah. yeah. Miss it by an inch. I know how you read a tape measure. Don't be lying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I swear. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.